this video, we load movie, load movie, navigate your way. So this file, this flash file was created one directory before this directory, this folder. So section graphics, then name of the file forward slash is products dot jpeg now we're going to load this we can load this in one of two places using load movie we can load this into a level don't confuse levels with layers levels basically the stage itself is level zero we're going to keep the simple approach and load this into a, what's called a loader so i'm going to create a new layer we're going to call the layer loader say that 10 times fast layer loader now when is the loader going to happen when i'm going to load these assets this is not going to happen until I get to the start of my section keyframe. So right here is where I want to put those graphics. So I insert a keyframe, F6. F6 inserts a keyframe. This is where I want it to appear. I don't want it to appear here. I want the loader load movie to appear here. Now I'm simply going to create a movie clip from a text box. I'm sorry, from a, a rectangle. So I'm going to put a rectangle here. It doesn't matter the color of the rectangle. You can pick pink, blue, green, it doesn't matter. I'm going to pick this green color and I'm going to put a movie clip right here. I'm going to select the movie clip by holding down the command key. Why am I holding down the command key? Because I'm in the rectangle tool. Rectangle tool, tools don't select. I'm not going to come up here like a knuckle at every 10 seconds and select the selection tool. I'm simply going to hold down the command key. Windows is the control key. Mac attaches the command key. It works in Quirk, Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, uh, Fireworks. It works in all Adobe products except Dreamweaver. Hold down the command key. I select this. I turn this to a symbol. How do I convert it to a symbol? F8. F8. I'm going to call this MC because it's a movie clip loader. MC loader. We're going to load from the top left section. Movie clip loader. Now, I want to be able to talk to this symbol, which is an instance. So I need to give it an instance name. If I don't give it a name, I can't talk to it. Rule number one to action script. If you don't have an instance name, you can't communicate with the object. You want the object to go across the page and spin five times and disappear. You can do this for action script, but it has to have an instance name. So we're going to call this loader underscore MC. Now, what's in between the name of the symbol? Why am I calling the symbols basically MC loader? Well, because it lists alphabetically. Alphabetically, so if you have movie clips, it'll put in the same section inside your timeline because it's listed alphabetically. GR puts it in the GR section. BTN puts it in the BTN section. So this is a simple movie clip instance name called loader underscore MC. So now when I go back to my action script, now I have a place for this photo, this graphic to load into. So I'm going to say comma loader underscore MC. So it's going to load into that loader, which is part of my timeline. So my timeline loader appears here. Now again, aesthetically, the loader can terminate right there. So I hold down the control key and remove frames. It doesn't need to exist past here. So if I hit command return, now if I if I click here and return, I'd, it's going to load products. And if I click here, it's going to load price. But I didn't tell it to load price yet. I simply told it to load products. So I didn't tell it to load price. So again, let's play this again. Command return. Command return. Basically plays the movie again. Now, important step here. If I play services, all I'm going to see is the box because I haven't told it to do anything in the code. If I click price, I'm just going to see the box because I haven't told it to do anything. But if I click product, it's going to load the box, the products into that box. And, and uh, why is that not happening? Okay. So it seems like I just jumped ahead of myself slightly. I, I was not paying attention. My mistake. Uh, I should have loaded prices first. It would be less confusing. So we can use that same shortcut. We can just take this same code, copy the code, and put it right here. And we simply call this prices. And if you're not sure about that, hit Command S Save. And we can see that we called it services, products, prices. That's the name of the file. So that I could do the same thing for services. So I can hit the return key, paste, double click, services. 
Now, it's just make sure if you, whatever you call your file, it has to be the path to the file and the name of the file. Then we're loading into loader underscore MC. So now if I play this command key return, if I click products, you're going to see the products graphic. And if you hit services, you're going to see the service graphic. And if you hit price, woo, you're going to see the price graphics. Our prices are insane. Now, understand that this graphic is too big from the original. So you can either two choices. You can go into Photoshop or Fireworks and make your graphic smaller, or we can make that graphic smaller through Action Script. So this is the products graphic, which seems to be okay. This is the service graphics, which seems to be okay, but the price graphic is a little too big. So we're gonna notch that down a little bit. We're gonna take that down to about 75 or 80 percent. So how do we do this? We go to the price section. Now we can't talk to this, but we can talk to this. This is the instance name. Logic, very logical. I can't communicate with this, but I can communicate with this. So I double click copy, hit the return key, paste. So what do I want to do with this? Period, code hints, I want to change the X scale across and the Y scale down, X and Y. So dot underscore X scale, I want the X scale to equal to 80. Now, if I hit semicolon and play this, it's just going to change the X scale to 80, but it didn't change the Y scale. Now, I could put a whole new piece of code in here that says Y scale 80, but if I flash back to fifth grade algebra class, yes, algebra, it's going to help you very simply, I could say that the X scale equals the Y scale, and the Y scale is gonna be equal to 80. Remember in fourth or fifth grade when your teachers told you someday you're gonna need this? Well, guess what you do today. So the X scale equals the Y scale. Notice I have to put in the actual movie clip name again. The X scale equals the Y scale. The Y scale is gonna equal 80. Now, very important step to comprehend this next step. If I hit command return and I hit price, this is now scaled at 80%. It's scaled the movie clip loader at 80%. But guess what? Products is now scaled at 80%. And services is now scaled at 80%. Okay? Why? Because I told the loader to scale, but I didn't tell it not to scale. Now, if you go to very important concept here. If I hit services first, services is not scale. If I hit products first, products is not scale. If I hit price, price is now scale. Now from this point, products is scale and services is scale. Why? Because I told it to scale the loader MC. So if you don't want it to scale, then you have to tell it not to scale or you have to keep that 100%. So I'm going to put that same piece of code here and say keep it at 100. I'm going to put that same piece of code here and say keep it at 100. So therefore it's not going to scale. You're telling it what to do. It's like a four-year-old. You're telling it what to do every step of the way. So if you tell it what to do in action script, you have to tell it what not to do in action script. So now price, products, services, no matter what order I pick it into, it keeps its same value. This is a very important step here, so let's review that concept. If you tell it to do something, you have to tell it not to do something. You can't just assume, so as an example, say I'm going to take the loader MC, and I can basically take my loader MC, and I can period, code hints, and I'm going to say rotate this. Rotate this at negative 33. You don't have to put the degree symbol in there, but semicolon. So what's going to happen here? It's going to rotate the price button. It's going to rotate the graphic, the loader MC graphic, when I get there. So this is going to be equal to, my mistake here, equal negative 33. Rotation equal negative 33. It's going to know to do percentage. You have to put an equal sign in there. Command return. Now if I click products, it doesn't rotate. If I click services, it doesn't rotate. But if I click price, price rotates. But now if I click products, products is rotated. And if I click service, service is rotated. So if you don't want it to rotate, 
let's change this back to say negative 12 degrees. If you don't want it to rotate, then you don't put positive 12 degrees. That's not how it works. You have to put don't rotate, zero. So I put in zero, not negative zero. There's no negative zero. I simply put in zero. So if I don't want the others to rotate, or if I want it to rotate with a different value, maybe I do want it to rotate. But if you don't want it to rotate, then you have to tell it not to do that. So product doesn't rotate, service doesn't rotate, but price does rotate. Pretty cool? Now it can also move, now this, notice that this is jamming into the menu, so I can actually move the X position of loader MC inside of price. So loader MC, I want to talk to loader MC, and I'm going to change just the X position, X space position. So period, I'm going to change the underscore X, I'm sorry, the underscore Y, Y it's up and down, the X is left and right, so my mistake on that. I'm going to change the Y to B, oh, let's make this 130, so it's going to change the Y to 130 pixels. Now, if you need to, you can go back to your comp and basically say rulers. I'm going to view my rulers here for a second, and I'm going to say I want to move that comp down a little bit, so maybe down to here. So that's about Let's make it 175 pixels. So let's go back to our code again. I want the Y value, the Y value to be 175 pixels. The Y, the X is going to stay the same. The Y, I'm just going to move down. Why? Because Y, who's on first? Yes. Okay. So if I click here, it's the same. Products, it's the same. But price is going to rotate, but then it's going to move it down. Now I want to move it down even further than that. So I'm going to say, I can say plus 10. I can literally say plus 10, but I'm not going to do that to myself. I'm just going to put in 195, which would be plus 20. So if I click here, it moves it down right off the edge of that, which is fine. But now it's going to move products, and now it's going to move services. I don't want to move products and services. So if you want it to be the same, then put in the value for it being the same. So action script is very straightforward if you understand how it thinks. Think action script. Think flash action script. It's a very simple premise. So what you're saying is when I click and release, it's going to create a function. What the function does is between these two curly braces. So inside of here, I can have a whole grocery list of things to happen. It's going to go and stop on products. Once it gets here, it's going to talk to the section titles to contain the word our products. In addition to that, it's going to load the movie inside the loader MC. Very simple, very straightforward, very simple to do if you understand how it thinks. My objective with all my classes, whether it's Photoshop or Illustrator or Final Cut, is to get you to think the way the software thinks. So if you understand what the things are, you know how to program them very simply, very effectively.